Okay, guys. We finally found everything. <clears throat> a couple of notes. Uh, go ahead and clean your valves. It's just a matter of, you know, however you want to clean them. Just be careful on the face of them. Uh, no, no gouges. Uh, when you pull both valves out at the same time, if anyone doesn't know and you don't notice it right off, they are two different sizes. Okay. Well, you can see a little bit. If you want me to break out a pair of mics, uh, I can mic them and show you the difference. The smaller of the valves is the exhaust. The larger is the intake. Same way in a car. Um, okay, anyway. How to lap a valve. And I did go ahead and pull the spring out of down here. Uh, it was wanting to hit a little bit when I was getting it all set up. Okay, where did I throw it? This is your valve lapping tool. This is a generic one. Uh, you don't have to go spend a lot of money for something. All it is is a stick with a suction cup on the end of it. Um, valve grinding compound. Permatex. Uh, the valve grinding compound. Uh, water mix. Alright. Make sure everything's clean. All the oil's gone. Let's see if I can't it's a little different here. Okay. I've got the camera right up on top of me. I can't even step into the engine. Um, I don't know how to get to it. Anyway. Just a little bit. You know. Some people say put a little. Some people say put a lot. I say put what you're comfortable with. Uh. There's no right or wrong way to do it. All you want to make sure of is in the end, the valve is seated in. Pick the end that fits. Usually it's going to be the smaller. This comes in a kit with two. Comes with this one. A little bitty thing that I'll never use for anything, and it comes with this one. Now that one's that size, and this is the biggest one. Uh, I don't know what you would use that little one for. That is, to me, funny. I gotta back the camera up so I can get into it. Center the suction cup over the valve. Press it down, have it in the center, centered on the valve. Move the other one out of your way. And don't go straight in a circle, don't go around and around. You'll hear the difference in the tone from it grinding. Does that? Lift it up a little bit. Put it back down. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it this time a little longer than I should uh, so maybe you can hear the tone change in it after I pick it up here it gets it sounds like it's grinding less pick it up put it back down it starts over again
You continue to do that uh, on each one uh, until you feel like they may be seated or lapped in, uh, whatever your term is. Um, I'll do this a few more times and then I'll pull it out and clean it off. With any luck, it should have seated in well. There is no such thing in valve work as close enough. Uh, uh, if it looks, if you take it out and you look at it and you think, well, that, that'll do, um, do it some more. If you do not get these seated in right, you will regret it in the end. Um, like I said, you know, uh, close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Uh, there is no close enough in valve work. Uh, it's either right or it's not. Uh, you either put the engine together and it runs the way it should or you put the engine together and then you take it back apart and do it again we're gonna wipe all of this off it helps to have a clean rag uh, <laughs> I don't really know where all my rags are I'm just wiping uh, all the grit off of it. I'll show you what it looks like in just a second. Uh, be sure to get all of this out of here off of the seat. You know, if it, some people do this with the carburetors on them, uh, which is fine. You know. I have done it. I've done it a good bit, actually. Um, okay. On the valve, you see. Um, let's see if I can't. Right there. Okay. On the valve, there's light, a sh uh, you can see light reflecting, like a shiny glaze. Right, right in between those two glazes is kind of a dull gray, or whatever color it may you may be seeing. When it's like that all the way around, and uniformed. Uniform means the same width all the way around. You are done with that valve. If it is seated there, it is seated in here. Uh, if you had a lighter grit grinding compound, um, you could polish it up. You know, take some of the scratches out, even though you can't really see them. Uh, this is a rough cut do the same thing if I do decide to come out and do the exhaust while they're uploading you do the same thing to the exhaust that I just showed you on the intake um, 